On to race number four then, it's the first of our feature races as such on the weekend. It's a class two of the 1800 metres, the Happy Valley Clubhouse Handicap, headed by Helene Charisma. He's been last on his last two starts. Rockety having his first start for Frankie Law. Stimulation having a first start for Tony Cruz, a three-time winner in France. Sergeant Titanium can roll forward. Jolly Jean likes to roll forward as well. Uh, Pikachu gets 10 pounds off his back and Ritfield down in class and down in trip. Nine runners in the fourth. Yes, uh, could be a tactical battle this, 1800 metres, long run down the back stretch. Jolly Jean will lead. He doesn't generally run slow when he leads. Do they press forward with Helene Charisma like they have done uh, first up? And at the end of his last prep, Sergeant Titanium guaranteed to be handy. I would have thought Pikachu from three under the guidance of Victor Wong will want to race pretty close. And Star Majestic led all the way basically at the Valley a few starts ago. So there's the option for the pace to be a little stronger. S2 rivals in the race, Jolly Jean on the inside and the new horse, Stimulation. Only 1,017 uh, Stimulation. He's had three trials to get him ready. Uh, Tung Tai goes on for his uh, debut run. It's the one that's just going wide. Uh, Sergeant Titanium's had a great season. He's still well rated too. He's one off a rating in 90. He's, um, he's rated 89 at the moment. So he should get a good run looking at that speed map. And he's back to here to 1,800 metres which uh, suits the horse, and uh, Pikachu, he's, uh, he's going nice as well. Victor Wong will take 10 pounds off, so he's going to come in with 109 pounds, and you can see he seems to be working really well within himself here. He's only a small horse, and uh, the lightweight, I think, will see them. All right, well, we'll uh, start off with Pikachu in actual fact, and Helene Charisma, who's um, oh, not so much a work in progress anymore, but he's certainly a head-scratcher, but uh, Pikachu punches around in fifth. Yeah, one I'm going to tip and one's barred out of these two, Andrew. I'm actually going to tip Pikachu here. I always recall earlier on in his career being placed at Group 3 level off a lightweight. Here he is, Class 2 off a lightweight with Victor Wong. And I think the clay might be the difference here. When you sort of analyse all the other horses in the race, you can sort of say and give reasons why they're probably sort of on their mark or maybe um, not in the hunt. So... With that little claim and a reasonable gain, I think Pikachu can run well. Yeah, I got him in. I put him in on a minor line. Helene Charisma needs a wet track, so if, if it is raining on the day, that's the only way I'd entertain him. All right. Okay. Simulation mm. certainly an interesting runner though. Here on debut, Tommy Barry will be in the saddle for Tony Cruz. Tommy Stimulation is the son of Deep Impact, having his first run in Hong Kong on the weekend. You've ridden him in all three trials. What sort of feel does he give you? Yeah, he's given me a nice feel every time, but he's he's still very raw and um, he's got a lot to learn. Um, his first trial at Happy Valley, he didn't show a heap of speed and was sort of chasing the whole way. And then his next two trials, he's he's got out of the gates better and travelled a bit better in his in his trials and um, and finished off quite well. So I think. Um, Tony's gone the right way about giving him the three trials, getting him fit enough for 1800 first up, and I think he'll be very competitive. Uh, but whatever he does, he'll definitely improve on into next season. It's quite a unique race for you, of course, because you've had a bit to do with a lot of these horses, likes of Rocketeer, Helene Charisma, Imperial Gaventry, Pikachu. What was your overall take on it, Tommy? Yeah, look, I think um, Rocketeer's obviously the class horse in the race. Uh, if he turns up, he's obviously got a stable change now, so it'll be interesting to see how he, he comes through that. Um, you know, I think he's the best out of the lot of them and, and a few of the others have been around for quite a while now and, and they've been running week in, week out all season. So uh, my horse is a new one on the scene. Um, he's a fresh pair of legs and, um, as I said, I think he's got a bright future in Hong Kong. Uh, but whatever we see on the weekend, he'll improve on. So um, it's going to be a nice little race. Yeah, to win off a mark of 90 first up in a Class 2 will be a fair effort for stimulation, but certainly interested to see what he can do. Next one we're going to have a look at is, is Jolly Jean, who was on a hat-trick last time after two incredible performances um, to score at Sha Tin. The, the wheel certainly fell off last time out. Yeah, if you go right back through his form, I mean, he, he was beaten big margins um, and then all of a sudden he pulled out a massive win and I think ran a class record and then put another one together and then last start, he's back to the old form, beaten 20, unacceptable. Deal me out. Trial suggests there that he's had his little patch of form and... Um, I'm happy to shop elsewhere. Yeah, I think he's had his birthday, so um, I don't like the pattern. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, we do, yeah. yeah. Birthday right. week. Jolly Jean is out. 6.40, though, he's in the market at the yeah. moment. Who do we end up with, Paul? Rocketeer. I think he's had that nice, easy trial we saw there. He's now with Frankie Law, and the horse is going very well, and I think he's the class of the race. So he's to win. Sergeant Titanium, I haven't given up on, and he'll have a, we get a really nice run, I think, just in behind. Uh, and the 1800 metres will definitely suit him. Uh, Rickfield's another one that likes to step up and trip. He'll need a little 
bit of pace on because he can pull a bit, Rickfield. But comes in with a re reasonably lightweight and uh, Pikachu in there for fourth. Two, five, nine and eight. But I think two will win. I'm a little bit like you, Paul, with Rickfield. I think he's really close to a win. But I'm going to go with Pikachu for the, for the claiming rider reason. The £10 claim here for Victor Wong is the reason I'm tipping Pikachu. I think it will come into play. It's a very even lineup. As Tommy mentioned in the interview, Rocketeer is probably the class horse, but he's had a stable change. He's had blood in the track here at his last start, and he hasn't really fulfilled his potential this season. Stimulation, the new horse on the block, um, might be potentially better than all of them. Rickfield is close to a win, so eight, two, four, nine. Could be a tricky little contest. I'm happy to play the eight each way at a price. Well, eight and two are the two numbers that cross up, crop up right across uh, our selections there, so maybe that's the way to go. But I've been Rocketeer as well. That was race number four. So up next for us, race number five is the first leg of the Triple Trio.